my eyes are in so much pain today it's actually unreal but hey guys get ready with me for my physics exam i've actually got two exams today I've got physics and then pe in the afternoon so literally i've got a hell of a day like absolutely disgusting atrocious um but after my physics exam i'm gonna go home i'm gonna revise for two hours and then i need to be back in school for my pe exam at 1 30 i think it is so at least i get some more revision in before the exam i also got my sephora haul it came yesterday i'm so excited so i originally wanted to get four things but they didn't have it in stock so instead i just got charlotte's on the contour one because my one was running out i got the milk makeup primer i used to have it in the smaller size but i got it in the bigger size it's so good and then i got the new glow recipe huge drops i always get small breakouts on my forehead and then they always end up staining for so long because of my fake tan which is kind of my fault but then it's like why it's stupid i slept with an open window last night which is so flipping stupid who does that and now i feel like i've got a cold coming which is so not good because it's hard term on friday and like i don't want to be bloody ill thank you very much also my leavers day is on friday which i'm so excited about because finally bro finally i actually officially leave that hellhole okay i'm gonna add this to my box of boxes don't ask how have i literally been talking for nearly two minutes and i haven't even started my makeup that is just really bad so bad look how itsy bitsy this one is it's so cute it's so cute my makeup feels hydro gripped it's so good because i actually put on quite a bit so i'm hoping my makeup will stay all day because i actually need to be in school a lot today so absolutely disgusting i use my old contour one because it's still a little bit product left I'm like why waste that it's literally like precious money hold on i need to rehydrate this because i literally just sat on my phone for the past like five minutes i don't know i got distracted and then plus. okay but my makeup is actually eaten today it looks so good i will never ever get over blush it's literally my fave i love it too freaking much oh my god my makeup is so good today i'm so happy okay my makeup's done i'm gonna take my hair and i'll be happy i say take my hair take out my hair mm, i don't really know they're kind of weird today mm -mm, mm -mm. bye bye guys Hey guys, get ready with me. Sorry, I'm literally in a bad mood and I don't know why because everything just keeps going wrong and I've got five minutes to do my makeup. So, I don't, well, not makeup, just skincare and mascara, but like, oh, I'm just annoyed with everything. Like, everything just keeps going wrong, like little things and you know, like little things keep going wrong and then, like, it just winds you up. That's what's happening. I also need to redo my hair because it's like really, like, baggy and my mum literally just did it for me. And then now I have to redo it because it's so clean now. But, so I haven't been active. I actually need to start posting and we'll get ready. Because every single get ready, I start off with. Sorry, I haven't been active. But I haven't gone to school, like, this week. So, I haven't been getting ready. Really. So, yeah. But basically, I didn't go in yeah, Monday and yesterday. But I missed, like, all my end of year science tests. So, I don't know if they're going to make me do it, like, in lunchtime or if i'm gonna do it after half time and like obviously i'm happy that i missed them because i didn't want to do them but at the same time i wanted to get like all my tests over and done with so it's like a bit annoying because like i just wanted to like get back after half term and just be like right i've got like nothing to worry about now like do you know what i mean like i just wanted to think like i'm like basically done with school because when i get back i've got three weeks and two days left of school that's actually mental because i'm going on a holiday for like the last week and like three days because i'm going on wednesday so i've got these actually no i'm not even going in on friday because like i've got dentists and it's like my mum can't like pick i don't know it's confusing but i've got the dentist so i'm not gonna but so i've literally got these two days wednesday thursday and then when i get back i've got three weeks and then two days so yeah and then i have 10 weeks off for summer i'm so excited honestly but yeah well actually i'm not really going on holiday i'm going to dance for a cup but i'm counting it as a holiday because i'm literally going for like 10 days and i have three dances so that's gonna be fun and my hotel's like in a water park 
but yeah, like I was saying, I just wanted to like get back up to half term and just think I've got three weeks left. Like I just need to like get through them. It'll be fun. But when I get back, I've still got three or four tests to do because I miss my French as well. But I'm pretty sure I could do that tomorrow because I have French tomorrow. So I'll probably do it then. And then I have Spanish on Friday, but I'm not in again. So I'll have to do that after half time as well. And it's just like, it's good because I don't want to do it. But at the same time, it's like, I just wish that I can just get it over and done with. Even if I do do bad, just get it over and done with. And then when I get back, I have like nothing to worry about. But now I'm just going to put on my P. Louise lip oil in shade donut. Right, I'll just turn off my light because I need to go. Anyways, thanks for watching. Bye. in my house i'm actually shit scared i just heard a creaking there was like some gate creaking downstairs there's no gates in my house and i'm home alone i'm actually so scared i'm just gonna oh my god i'm actually so scared also i'm freaking orange to make matters even worse guys i'm, I'm actually really scared I don't want to go downstairs though. Um, I don't really know what to do now. Also, to make life even worse, I have crusty mascara on my eyelashes from yesterday because I forgot to take it off. And I have half an hour detention today for wearing makeup to school. I'm actually so scared. I can feel my hands shaking. But I need to take my mascara off. And I can't be late for school. I have to leave for school in 10 minutes. Guys, I can hear footsteps. I'm actually so scared. I'm going to ring my mum. Hold on. Right, guys, I was on the phone to my mum and we went around the whole house and there's no one in the house. Right, guys, I'm not literally wearing any makeup today. I'm going to quickly put um, some toner on. Where is my toner? And then I have to leave. Um, I'm so happy because I have a shorter day today, but still I have half an hour detention after school. Which is really frustrating. This video was a bit chaotic. Sorry about that. Anyway, I'm going to take some mascara with me to school. <gasps> going to take these two because I layer them up. And then I'm going to take my eyelash curler. And then I'll probably do it in the bathrooms at school. But um, I'm not going to do anything with my hair because I don't have time. It looks a bit crazy but it's okay. I love you guys. Bye. Not being funny, but last night I had to like fake tan my hands. I've only fake tan my hands, and I was like, yeah, what fake tan do I use? I looked at my one that you leave on overnight. I looked at my one that you only had to leave on for an hour. I pick up the one you only need to leave for an hour, and I kept it on overnight. And there's a reason you're only meant to leave it on for an hour because, sorry sorry and i only did my hands because i wanted to test out this remover stuff so it's like yeah i don't really feel like fake tan anyway so i'm just gonna do my hands and i've i look like an oompa loompa i actually think there might be something wrong with me in the brain and i wish i was joking but i read the bottles and then i pick the one that is the dumbest thing to you but anyway it's half past seven right now and i need to leave literally 20 minutes earlier today because my mum can't take me to school today she she told me like oh you can walk or i can drop you before eight o'clock and i was like I'm not getting to school before 8 o'clock. I'm not getting to school half an hour early. And I'm not re walking. Have you seen that rain? That rain is horrible. I will literally probably get picked up and go all the way to North America. So my amazing BFF, Scarlett, her mum's going to take me. And I love Scarlett and her mum. But they're going to be here at like 8. So I kind of need to hurry up. But this gave me my first day at school back to my dark hair. Because if you didn't know, I got my hair... I got a blonde balayage, which is like... 
bleach blonde because I have naturally dark hair and I got that at the end of December and I literally looked like I had spaghetti coming out of my head and I hated it so yes I went back dark and I love it so much this is just so much more me and I think I've convinced like almost everyone that I'm going bright blonde because I want everyone to be like bamboozled when I come in with my dark hair but I have the biggest mouth ever and um, my fingers have a mind of their own so I've po literally already posted everything on TikTok and snapchat but still everyone can still think i'm going blonde i don't know why i've woken up so late here like i set alarms for 6 a.m 6 15 6 30 6 45 7 and 7 15 and i woke up for the seven o'clock one i only went to bed at like i want to say 12 30 not 12 30 11 30 now i don't think that's that late so i don't know why i've woken up this early and i don't even know what day it is today alexa what day is it today it's wednesday the 22nd of may I thought it was Thursday. Okay, let me quickly speed through my skincare because I've literally taken two minutes on my skincare. So, Sally Max sent me some bits and I unboxed it yesterday. I thought that was so cool. So, I want to use these products now. So, I'm going to be using their Pore Dark Spot. Then, I'm going to use this green one. I don't know what this does. I just thought it looked cool because it's green. And then, I'm going to use my Nice and My Dew Drop. I have like a gut feeling that my piercings are infected. And I don't know why, but I just feel like my helix is infected because... Does that not look infected? It looks like purple and it hurts really bad and it hasn't hurt like all the five months I've had it and now it's really starting to hurt and I'm getting scared because I can't have an infected person and some people say that their ear like swallows up the star. No thank you. It's Wednesday today which is amazing because anyone that knows me knows that I love Wednesdays. They're literally my favourite day of the week and I say this every single Wednesday. Someone literally needs to make a collage of the amount of times I say this because I say this every single Wednesday. I just love Wednesdays because you're like halfway into the week, halfway out of the week. Okay, I want to do quite a bit of makeup today only because I've come in with new hair. I need to make myself look proper done up. I actually love this song. French drama, history, RE, no, English, something. I don't know what I've got today. I need to start memorising my timetable. There's not even any point. We only have a term left of school. I think I've got French drama, history... English, I don't know why. Drama, English, history, then RE. So I've got quite a good day. I don't mind my lessons today. I'm 101% taking a coat in because, not to be funny or anything, but it is absolutely pouring it down and I'm not going into school and leaving school and staying in school for those whole like seven hours looking like a drowned rat. So no, thank you. Okay, my makeup's actually going well. Literally all I have left is my eyebrows. I need to curl my eyelashes. So I'm doing my powder now and it's just like look oily. I've just setting sprayed my face and now I need to do my eyebrow gel and curl my eyelashes and then I'm done. Okay queens, I'm all done. This is my makeup all done, it looks quite good. Bye queenies. Hey guys, get ready with me for school. So it is finally Thursday. This week is actually going pretty fast. Even though I literally said yesterday it's going really slow, but it's fine. Um, and I've got dance today, which is good. Um, I don't know, I just always like this day because of dance. I think the other lessons are quite bad, but it's okay. Oh my gosh, I think it was Monday. Um, in PE, we had to pick what like sports we want to do for sports day. And you can do a minimum of like two or three and then maximum of five. And then I did like three or four. And then my best friend tried to switch one of hers, but the teacher just made her add it on. So she had quite a few. So then we thought, let's just add more. Make ours the same. Um, and we thought it would be fine until that PE lesson we did the 100 meters. I, we were so tired after that. So we're not going to be able to handle sports day because we chose 100 meters, 200 meters, 400 meters, long jump and triple jump. Oh, I'm not going to be able to run that much. But it's okay. I'll just try and hope for the best. Um, yeah, so we did that. And I think I pee tomorrow. Oh my gosh, also, I did half up, half down today and I did my edges. I actually love this hairstyle. I barely do it anymore, but it's cute. My edges, they look nice from far away, but close up, they're not the best. Because I barely do them anymore, so I'm not like that good at them, but it's okay, I'll learn. Right, I'm going to use my recipe Hue Drops. Oh, my hands have got so much moisturiser on them. Um, but if you couldn't tell already, I'm wearing my pyjamas. I just haven't got ready yet. For anyone comments watching on their school clothes. But yesterday, because of like the year 11's GCSEs, we had double English, which was... But basically, we had English first period, and instead of having it like back to back, 
we had to have it last period as well so we didn't have science but yeah that was just way too much english for me to handle like it was really boring but at the same time at the like the last period one wasn't that bad because we just had to write like this paragraph and i actually think i did a good job i don't know why i just loved the writing that i did i came up with a great idea right i'm gonna use my indu brow gel i don't know if i'm gonna do makeup i love the glowy look right now but i wasn't gonna do makeup but i feel like i'm in the mood to now so i'm gonna try and quickly do it i guess i'm just gonna use my primer right now i'm just gonna use my charlotte tilbury flawless filter okay i'm gonna do do concealer now and i'm actually gonna use my elf camo concealer i haven't used this in so long but it should give me like a nice bright under eye called the facial spray on my beauty blender of course oh my gosh i literally love that okay now i'm gonna use bronzer i don't know which one i'm gonna use Too faced or whatever yeah i'm gonna go with the Too faced one oh my god stop the more i look the more i love this concealer i want to start using this now it just looks better like brightens my eyes more um yeah i'm gonna use my Too faced bronzer i'm literally obsessed with my makeup i'm i'm gonna do blush though I'm, i just hope it doesn't ruin it that's what i'm saying but we will see i'm gonna use my rare beauty one and then set and spray after okay i did the blush and it actually turned out really nice so yeah i love it i'm gonna use my charlotte silver set and spray now Right, so I'm just curling my lashes and then I'm going to use mascara. Okay, I've just finished my lashes and makeup is done and I literally love it today. Um, yeah, I'm now ready, so bye guys. Hey y'all, happy last day of school. It's literally summer and I could not be more freaking excited. First, I have my psych final and I literally just have to go in and read off this paper, this report thing that i did on an article about sharks and the whole cost us to do that each one should take literally a minute if that so we're most likely going to be helping her clean out her room because yesterday when i finished my math final and a push final i went to one of my old teacher's rooms who's like right next to my psych one and i could hear her from down the hall like dropping things because she was trying to clean out her room it was really funny anyways after school i genuinely don't know what we're doing like that's still up in the air like directly after school i think some of my friends and i are going to get like snow cones or something and then we're going to a pool but like tonight i don't know like our original plans got canceled less than 24 hours before um but then they were back on but then they were canceled again and it just kept going back and forth so i have no clue where we stand yeah but you know ever so slightly stressed about that but it's fine that's one of those problems that we'll get to it when we get to it and for now i just i don't care that's a lie i do care anyways on a more exciting note i'm going to the lake tomorrow with my boyfriend it's been a whole thing because first we were going to his friend's lake and then we weren't but then we were but then we weren't and so now i think we're going to mine so, you know, this time I'm hoping that everything's, like, working because the last time he went down, the boat broke and the tube popped. So, that was a really good first impression. I'm actually so excited. Like, like I'm finally done with school because this year has actually kicked my butt. Whoever told me to take four or five, however many, three or four or five, I don't know, APs this year hates me and wanted me to die. But you know what? Frick you, because I got all A's. Yeah, I forgot to mention that. I ended up getting an A on that lit final that I thought I failed. I went to her yesterday and I asked. And before I even said anything, she was like, you managed to keep your A. Just barely. Which I have a feeling that she bumped it. And it was funny because she was like, there's no curve. I'm not bumping. Don't ask. She said that I barely kept my A just by just a skim. I feel like she bumped it. Because I did not feel that good on it. But. Who knows? Maybe. Anyways, happy summer. I'm done. Bye. Get ready with me for school. 
so it's wednesday and it's absolutely chucking it down like where has summer gone i'm sorry but it's like we had one nice weekend and then all of a sudden it just packed up its stuff and went like i swear down it's just been so rainy ever since like last weekend and the weekend before that i also hate the fact that it's raining because in my school they literally will make you stand outside in the rain at lunchtime no matter how heavy it is unless it's literally like you stand outside like honestly it's so annoying like it's raining just let me go inside it's annoying as well while all the teachers get a cute little cozy room like bro what about me what about me but you know we move we move and also another thing as well like you go to a different place like your year groups when it rains so like when i was in year eight or seven we used to hang out in the canteen <gasps> sorry about that and then now when you're nine our place is like our maths block but my school's really really small so our maths block we're only allowed in two rooms and my years were like 200 kids and they literally let us in like two rooms so they're absolutely packed i really don't have the energy to get ready today like honestly just really can't be bothered but i look really dead so let's calm my ashes and go from there <sighs> my lip stuff's in my bag so we're gonna go in with the pea louise on today I usually just like switch between the Laneige one and P. Louise. I think that's all we're going to do for makeup because I just can't have to put it on. I'm already for school now. I don't know how I feel about this headband. It's making my forehead look even bigger. And also ignore the little skirts on my jumper. It's my perfume, but it just doesn't dry. Mum made me hot chocolate. But yeah, that's it. Bye, guys. These are all the reasons I've broken up with people. Disclaimer, all of these relationships go from like elementary school to right now. So I promise I wasn't a little preschool whore. <laughs> I wasn't getting around guys, just believe me. I've only actually been in like one serious relationship in my life and I'm in it right now. <laughs> but little me was like a fucking menace. She really gave absolutely no fucks. So for the first one, every single time we would fight, he would run upstairs to his mommy. And be like, Lauren's being mean to me. Lauren called me a piece of shit. <laughs> I would literally stand there like, like deer in fucking headlights because what do you even do in that situation and i really want to say this was in like elementary school or sixth grade or something no this was my senior year of high school he also had like a crippling corn addiction yet somehow still didn't know how to make a girl finish <laughs> like how are you studying that shit constantly but still fail the damn class in sixth grade he was going around telling people that he was gonna break up with me so i broke up with him first honestly i don't think he was gonna break up with me i think he just wanted to like look cool or something but regardless i always win don't care still don't care he also asked me out over five Fucking Minecraft. I wish I was kidding. He built like a house with signs. There were like roses, flowers everywhere. Like, <laughs> uh, he was ahead of his time, honestly. Okay, this one's like pitiful. He decided last minute that he was gonna miss my birthday to coach a rec hockey game. And then he would like Snapchat me after the fact and be like would you want to be my date to this frat party like actually sir i'd rather die okay this one's very specific this was actually my first boyfriend <laughs> this was like fourth grade so don't take it too serious we were at his house with his family playing just dance and this dude's toenails haven't seen a clipper in at least a decade so my fourth grade ass sees like these long toenails like bouncing across the carpet and i just actually couldn't handle it so i ended things would i do that now no, actually, probably. But that's also how I found out Anthony was my person because I literally couldn't get icked by any single thing he did. I love you, Hobnockers, and I'll see you in the next one. You're late and haven't washed your hair in like seven days. The only hair you can do is a slick back pony. I'm actually not late today. It's just 11.20 and I'm meeting up with my friend at 12. So I have to leave at 11.30. But my friend, she's very anal, okay? She doesn't like it when I'm 15 minutes late at all or not even five. Actually, she'll give me a pass if it's five. If it's under 15, she won't be mad at me. But I'm hanging out with a friend that literally hates it when I'm late. So I'm trying to redeem her trust back and prove to her that I'm not always late and I'm capable of being on time. Okay, I think I'm gonna be early today. My slick back pony is basically done. Yeah, I gotta get the kitchen back here and then I'll be done. It's 11.22. I think this is the fastest I ever have done a slick back pony. I'm gonna be on time today. She's gonna be so proud of me. Oh my God, yeah, it actually looks good. I think this is like the only weird part right here. I'm not gonna lie. I did a really good job. Wow. I'm impressed with myself sometimes. I need to add a little bit more gel because sometimes 
like the flyaways they come out and since i haven't washed my hair in so long i have to wash my hair anyway so it doesn't matter the amount of gel that's in my hair okay that's basically the slick back pony it's 11 23 i'm gonna get changed now